So we want to analyse the California schools data that we've seen in lectures. And in particular, we want to try and replicate the result looking at the impact of student teacher ratios on average test scores. So how are we going to do this? Well, the first thing that you might want to do is you might want to create a scatter plot of your data. We want to know the impact of a change in the student teacher ratio on average test scores. So we want to plot a scatter plot where we've got student teacher ratio on the horizontal axis and average test scores on the vertical axis. So you might start by selecting your data. So I've just selected the column with um, average test scores and the column with student teacher ratio in there. If you scroll down, you'll see that you've got um, 420 observations. And having selected your data, if you click on insert and then the easiest place to start is recommended charts and that will allow you to insert a scatter plot. But if you notice, the axes are the wrong way around. We've got the average test scores on the horizontal axis and we've got the student teacher ratio on the vertical axis. So are there ways that we can fix this? Well, the easiest way of fixing this is simply changing the order that the data appears in the Excel spreadsheet. So if you were to cut and paste the average test scores so that now it's to the right of student teacher ratio and re uh, repeat the process, then what we get is we get our student teacher ratio on the horizontal axis and the average test scores in the district on the vertical axis. Now, just to make this a little bit clearer in terms of the trend, let's change the scale on the axis so that we only observe observations between 10 and 30 in terms of the student teacher ratio. OK, so we've rescaled uh, our data and it looks like there's a downward sloping line, as we saw in the lectures. But what we want to do is we want to carry out some data analysis. We want to analyze our data. And in particular, we want to analyze it using ordinary least squares. So how could we do that? Well, Excel has ordinary least squares abilities built into it, but it's likely that it won't be switched on initially. If you click on the data tab, if ordinary least squares is installed, there'll be a button up here called data analysis, but it doesn't appear on my computer. So how are we going to turn on da um, data analysis in Excel? Well, what you need to do is on Excel, this is the Windows version of Excel and the Mac um, process is slightly different, but it follows the same sorts of steps. Click on the file, then click on options. Under options, click on add-ins and at the bottom here, it says manage Excel add-ins. If you click on go and then what you need to include or what you need to select is analysis tool pack and analysis tool pack VBA. Having done that, there's now a new button has appeared under data analysis called data analysis. So we're going to click on that and we're going to ask Excel to calculate a regression. If we click on OK, we can now select what we want as our Y range, so our dependent variable, and what we want as our X range. So the average test scores are going to be our dependent variable or our Y variable. So we're going to select all of the observations relating to average test scores. There we go. So we've just clicked and dragged down to the bottom of the column. Similarly, we're going to do the same for um, our X variable, which is student teacher ratio. So we're going to select all 420 observations of student teacher ratio. And if you notice in this data, for each of the counties, for each of the districts, we've got a pair of observations, an observation for student teacher ratio and an observation for average test scores. I'm going to 
click the button that says labels and that tells the data that we've got labels at the top of our um, top of our data set and if we now click OK a new worksheet is created let's just make this each column a little bit wider so we can see what's going on and at the moment the key bits that we want to focus on are these coefficients so we've got an estimated intercept of 698.9 and an estimated slope parameter our beta 1 hat of minus 2.2798 or minus 2.28 to two decimal places that indicates that when the student teacher ratio increases by one the average test scores reduce on average by 2.28 points now we could also illustrate this using our scatter plot if you right click on your data and you click on add trend line then the dotted line that you get across here is the ordinary least squares estimate of the relationship between student teacher ratios and test scores and let's display the equation on the chart which hopefully is visible there and we have the estimated slope parameter of 2.2798 we've got our estimated intercept of 698.93